the one that holds the cane is the oldest person in town. In 1909, the publisher of the once widely circulated Boston Post sent 700 canes to towns in Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Rhode Island where the paper was delivered. He wanted them to be given to the oldest man in each town, used until his death, and then to be handed to the next oldest citizen. The Boston Post folded in the 1950s, but the canes live on. The fourth man presented this cane to me. Several canes have been lost or damaged over the years. Some towns had replicas made, while others safeguard them in town offices or historical societies. But in West Gardner, the original tradition lives on with one exception. I was flabbergasted. As of 1930, women can now receive the cane. A couple of years ago, I met up with Arlene Grace Brand Brown when she was 98 years old. She had just received the Boston Post cane from her town selectman. Arlene turned 100 recently, surrounded by her five children, 15 grandchildren, 28 great-grandchildren, and 13 great-great-grandchildren. I don't feel 100 years old. You don't I get look up it. in the morning, it's about the same time. <clears throat> and I can wash the floor and I can cook a meal. And I keep going and that's why I'm on my feet. That's if good. I sat in this chair all the time, yeah. I wouldn't get out of it. She grew up in Farmingdale, got married to her husband when she was 18, and then moved six miles to West Gardner to a small home where she still lives today. We didn't really have a honeymoon. We got married October 1st. Well, the first thing my husband did was want to go hunting. He bought me a 30 30. No, you don't look 100. <laughs> Arlene worked for the state as a secretary for Sea and Shore Fisheries until she retired at 60. But since then, she has stayed active playing the piano at church, and up until a few years ago, she even cared for her blind grandson. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I have no desire for those things. Another reason she attributes for her continued health. Arlene says she hopes to hold on to the Boston Post cane for many more years to come. I don't feel old, but I guess it's an advantage to get old.